the best backpacker talking about advanced tips on setting your tent up, especially in the wind. All right, let's get right into it. I think it was Ray Jardine that taught me, um, keep your shelter, keep your tent or tarp right at the top of your pack. The reason for this is the first thing that we do when we get to camp, of course, is set up our shelter, uh, especially if there's weather in the forecast. Now what this means is if you're gonna be efficient setting up your tent, you gotta start thinking about setting your tent up before you start setting your tent up. I like to keep my stakes right at the top of my tent bag and my poles right next to the tent so I can grab them very quickly and then shove them directly into my pockets. I usually keep my stakes in a little Dyneema stuff sack, and if you keep them in a stuff sack or a bag, just take them out and then put them in your pocket so you can access them easily one by one. If you don't have pockets to put all your stakes and poles in, maybe just stick them in the hip or the, or the chest belt for your pack. Now that the poles and stakes are safely stashed away, we go ahead and grab our tent out of the bag, but not out of the stuff sack. Whether you're on a mountaineering trip or the backpacking is getting crazy, stick a hard line coming out of the stuff sack for your tent. This way, you can install the most critical anchor immediately and before the whole tent comes out of the bag and you're searching around for different anchor points. You need to stabilize one point before anything else happens. Now, if you don't have an ice axe on your backpacking trip, then just use a log, use a giant tree to tie it to, use a dead man anchor, any which way you can finagle it. Just get a solid point of contact into the ground so this thing doesn't go flying away. A note about stuff sacks, I always see people tie them to their arms or tie them to their legs to keep track of them. I just say stick them in another pocket. Again, now I'm supposing you have about 14 pockets, but put them in a secure spot. You don't want to lose that tent stuff sack if you did have one to begin with. So now that that anchor is bomb proof, you can go through the whole procedure of setting up your tent. Usually something like stake out all the corners and then slip in the poles and then get those guy lines stretched out. Now you may go ahead and just go all the way in the circle, go around the tent with those steps, or you might want to just focus on the windward side. Sometimes you can just stake out the windward side, put the poles on the windward side, and then put the guy lines on the windward side and then just kind of take care of the stuff on the leeward side because that's a lot easier to get in when it's really windy. Once everything's solid, go ahead and do the usual restake and resetting. Even if you have to reset that hard point, make sure everything is equally balanced and that hard point is taking at least some of the load. These last two tips are high level. First of all, keep your tent and tarps low. Every time you flip it up, the wind catches it like a sail and it's gonna keep on tugging on those anchor points that you're trying to set. Sometimes even if you are keeping it low, you're gonna have to keep your weight on it or maybe throw a heavy pack on top to make sure that the wind doesn't start taking it away. I'm never afraid to step on my tent or to lay on my tent as I'm putting in different anchor points around the base of the tent. All right, this last tip on setting your tent up, especially in windy conditions, is incredibly high level and has to do with all the guy lines. If you're using a tent that does withstand high winds, it's gonna have a bunch of guy lines. And if you tie little loops at the end of these with knots so that you have a nice convenient loop to use and stake it out with, those loops and those knots are gonna get caught on each other and they're gonna get knotted and gnarled into a big rat nest that you're not gonna wanna deal with when you have to set up your tent in the wind. So the first part of the tip is keeping our guy lines clean, no knots, no loops. The second part of the tip is use a friction wrap instead of a hitch or a knot in order to secure the line to your stake. If you see what I'm doing here, I'm wrapping it around the stake and then I'm just planting the stake in. The best part about this is that in order to take this off, in order to clean it, it just pulls off. Now I know that's very similar to a hitch, but in my opinion, this is way quicker And there you have it, a bunch of expert tips on how to set up your shelter in windy conditions. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below if you know what shelter I was just setting up. And remember, you follow those tips, you can become the best backpacker.